Hi and welcome to this part of learning grammar. In this video, we are going to take a look at present perfect tense. Present perfect tense refers to an action which indicates a link between the present and the past. We use the present perfect with auxiliary verb have or has plus past participle to talk about some actions or states which are connected to the present. Now let's learn about the structure of uh, present perfect tense. To form an affirmative uh, statement in present perfect tense, uh, we put subject plus auxiliary verb have or has plus third form of verb plus object. It's important to know how to use have or has like I have, you have, we have, they have, but third person singular comes with has such as he has, she has, it has. For example, I have traveled to Europe. She has forgotten her purse. It has rained twice this week. For the question form, we put the helping verbs have or has before the subject plus third form of verb plus object. For example, have you finished your homework? To answer this question, you could say yes I have or no I haven't, which is called yes no question. Or you can also use the contraction form no I haven't. Has Bob arrived home? Yes he has or no he hasn't. Likewise, you can use the contraction for No, he hasn't. In the negative form, first put the subject plus helping verb have or has plus not plus third form of the verb also called past participle plus object. For example, I have not seen him before. I have not seen him before. Simply insert not after the helping verb. They have not finished their breakfast yet. Notice yet can be used in negative and question form of the present perfect. Present perfect tense is used with since and for to talk about an action which started in the past and is still continuing now. He has been there for 20 years. We have worked here for 5 years. They have been in America since 1996. She has studied English since she was a child. Keep in mind that for is used with an amount of time, like for 20 years and for 5 years. But since is used with a date or a point in time, not an amount of time. Like since 1996, since she was a child. Moving to the second usage, we can also use present perfect tense with unfinished time periods. For example, we have taken two exams this morning. The morning is not over yet. She has eaten 
three apples today. Today has not finished yet. I have swum twice this week. This week is not over and I would probably swim again this week. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I hope it can help your learning process and don't forget to subscribe to your channel.